deoxygenated blood returning from the systemic circulation goes to the right atrium. It enters the right atrium by way of the superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, which is over here, and the coronary sinus, which we'll see when we look at the base of the heart. Here is the base of the heart, the left atrium. This is your inferior vena cava, draining blood into the right atrium. Here is the superior vena cava. Right over here in the coronary sulcus, labeled number six on this model, we have the coronary sinus. The coronary sinus is collecting blood from almost all regions of the heart and draining that blood into the right atrium. In this view of the heart, the wall of the right atrium has been opened up and we're looking into the right atrium. Now, the right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the superior vena cava, which is over here, the inferior vena cava, which is over here, and the opening of the coronary sinuses, which is indicated right over here. This is called the crista terminalis. And because of the way these ridges of muscle extend from this ridge, the crista terminalis, kind of like the teeth of a comb, this muscle right over here is referred to as the pectinate muscle. So this is a feature, an internal feature of the right atrium. Now another feature of the right atrium, which is important to note, and you can see it right over here, reflects, again, your fetal circulation, or what remains of the fetal circulation. There's a depression here, which is called the fossa ovalis. So this region right over here, which you can see within the right atrium, is the fossa ovalis. Here again is the right atrium opened up. Right over here, again, is the opening of the coronary sinus. Right over here, you have the passageway between the right atrium and the right ventricle around that opening, that's where you'll find the tricuspid valve. So the tricuspid valve is located right there. It's also known as the right atrioventricular valve. And we'll see that again when we look at the right ventricle. Another structure to note right over here, which is indicated on this, in this model, is the atrioventricular node which is the way an electrical impulse will travel from the atria, the walls of the atria, to the walls of the ventricle.